So, for the past, uh, I gotta say a few years, unless you've been under a rock, I'm sure most of you noticed that a lot of people on the internet lately are just offended by everything. We seem to have this new offended culture out there where people are just like, you know, every little thing sets them off or triggers them. Fuck is a trigger warning. But yeah, it makes them like be like, oh, how dare you? Oh, it's offensive. Oh, you were being this. You were being that. That's offensive. You can't say that because that's, you can't say this because that's offensive. You can't say that because that's offensive. You can't do this because that's offensive. That's sexist. That's racist. That's sexist. That's racist. That's something phobic. This, that. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How do you people function in life at all? Like, seriously, I don't, I don't understand how you are going through life if every fucking little thing offends you. What, what is it? What is it? Somebody explain this to me. We are in this weird-ass generation lately where people are just upset and offended by every little thing. I mean, everything is sexist. Everything is racist. You are homophobic. You are thisophobic. You are thataphobic. You are agoraphobic. Wait, no, that's... that's that's outside, fear outside. But you get my point. So, I, I just see this a lot on there, you know, on, on, like, especially social media. Oh my god, on, on Twitter and stuff. Oh, they're, they're attacking me. I mean, these people go out and they insult people, like straight up insult people. And then people, you know, feeling insulted, decide to fight back. It's like, oh, you're attacking me. How dare you? You, you check your privilege, which by the way, I don't know what the fuck that means either. You need to check your privilege, or you need to do this. Uh, ah, oh, I'm so offended. And, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why, why things are like this. But then it finally hit me. And by the way, I want to say a uh, shout out to Active Sin because of, of a conversation I had on Twitter. Gave me the idea for the title of this video. Although I went with a different direction, a different direction because uh, if I went with pussies for hire, like he said, um, people probably would have thought I was talking about prostitution or something. With a small adjustment, <laughs> we, we go ahead with the video. And I finally got it. It's like the pe the reason why people are so offended nowadays, the reason why they're getting so upset is because they think they can make money off of it. And why shouldn't they think that? You see a lot of people out there like this Anita Sarkeesians, the Birana Woos, I don't know how to say the name, Birana Woos, um, some other people whose name I can't think of right now. You know, they go out there. And, like, they, they get paid, people. They get paid to go to seminars and talk about how offensive the world is. And they're making more money than you or me by bitching about other things that have no bearing on the world whatsoever. I mean, I wish I could get paid thousands or millions of dollars for doing what I do right here. But it's just not happening. However, I'm not sitting here saying I'm offended by everything. So, I don't know, maybe I should give it a shot. So, uh, you! I'm offended by you, so this video is about you. I don't, I don't know who I'm putting in it, but you see what I'm saying? And, like, this is... This is n not any different than what's going on in the crumb side of YouTube when these people are, you know, they're, they're getting attention under the guise of gaming. You know, they act like they're gaming channels, but they're not really gaming channels. They just want to be channels where they start shit and talk shit about other people under the guise of video games. So now we have people who are making videos and making content based under the guise of being offended. So I'm saying this whole social social justice thing, I can't talk right now, social, I had a 12 hour shift today, bear with me. So, this whole social justice warrior thing, which, I don't, you're not warriors, by the way, all right? You, you sit there, and you type on a keyboard, how dare you say something, I'm offended by this, oh, I'm going to tell Arnisa Keezing on you, or some shit like that, I don't know. But, yeah. So, basically, that, that's what this is, and there are more people out there doing this now because they think they can somehow cut a check from this. They're going to get paid to sit there and bitch about what the fuck ever, Pick a topic and be how that's offensive and racist and sexist. Now, I'm not saying there's not people out there who aren't, like, being racist and being sexist. Because there are, and they're assholes, and you shouldn't pay attention to them, except to say, shut the fuck up, you're a moron. But at the same time, they're just, they're trying to find these things in places they are not. 
you know? I'm sitting here making this video, and somewhere out there, one of these social justice warriors is probably going to see me in this video, probably not, but if they came across my video, they, they, would, they would try to make me feel white guilt or something, like I actually feel bad that I'm a straight white male. Like, because apparently that's the most evil thing on the net. If you are a straight white male, you are the devil. Okay, that's basically what the, what they're trying to say. But these same these same straight white people are standing up for the minorities who can't speak for themselves. Which um, I know a lot of YouTubers who are uh, who are minorities who. Uh, pretty damn capable of speaking for themselves. I mean, I'm, I'm like, they're, they're, they're out there, they're talking, they know what they're talking about, they're experienced, they've been out there, and you got these motherfucking idiots going, no, 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 it's okay, I'll do it for you, you don't need to do this, you don't need to, I will do it, shh, shh. How's that not offensive? Do, do you not hear yourself when you act like that? That, right there, is some offensive shit, and I'm pretty sure that like, you would get slapped in real life if you acted like that. And that's another thing, like, oh, they threatened violence on me. Well, they threatened to fucking slap you because you're stupid. It's not exactly violence, that's just like, stop being a fucking idiot. Violence is beating the holy hell out of somebody until they're almost dead. That is violence. Slapping someone for saying something stupid, that's not violence, just, just a reality check. But anyway, I, I, don't, I don't understand how these people are sitting there and how they're making it through daily life just being offended by everything like it's like if they don't get if, if they don't have the skills to do something that's somehow being some kind of assist towards them you know there's some kind of there's some kind of thing against them that like you know it's like if they applied to be a rocket scientist and they never did any of the schooling you need to become a rocket scientist somehow that's that they're being discriminated against because it's it's you're being uninclusive for not letting me be a rocket scientist that's pretty much how it is i mean okay that's an extreme but see what i'm saying here it's like they want to have like these these like executive ceo positions but they don't want to put the work into doing it because if they don't get the job right away it's like they're that they're being discriminated against because reasons, you know. And I'm not talking about the people who actually go to school for years and learn these things and then can't get a job in the field because the field's not hiring. I'm talking about people who are sitting there at home on their fucking keyboard and wondering why they can't be a rocket scientist when they did nothing to learn how to be a fucking rocket scientist. And I know I'm using rocket scientist too much, but that's like the most extreme example I can think of. So, uh, yeah. So that, that's what I think it is, is these people are, you know, they're being offended because they're hoping that they can get the, the attention that gets them paid. So they can go to colleges and tell college students how wrong they are for thinking. 